Welcome back to another video. I've got a Xiaomi air compressor that was sent in via Banggood. So what I'm going to do is give this a test later on. But first off, I'll just unbox it and show you what you get included. Quite a simple bundle with this. I'll just go through each of the items in detail and we'll take a closer look at the compressor. In the small white bag, we have the micro USB cable, fairly short, around about 30 centimeters in length. Here's the two adapters that they include. They are both metal. The original valve is a Schrader, the most common. We've got the ball needle, and then the black one is the Presta. Schrader is by far the most common, but the Presta one is used on some of the racing bicycles. This is the black cloth bag that they've included. On the inside of that, there is another pouch, and that is actually Velcro at the top. So with that, what you can do is just put the items that you get included and stash them in there quite safely and then close it up. Glad that they included that because it keeps everything together. Unfortunately, the user guide is in Chinese and I couldn't find an English one. I did spend a bit of time looking, couldn't see anything out there. Onto the main unit, size and weight is on the screen. It's quite a chunky unit. Uh, to be honest, you can definitely feel a bit of heft to it. It looks a bit like an iPod with the control pad at the front. You can see we've got vents all around the side and the plastic's actually quite thick on this. It doesn't feel flimsy or weak in any way. So hopefully it will hold up to general day-to-day -day usage. Here's the charging port cover, and unfortunately they've gone with the micro USB. I really would have preferred the Type-C, just a much stronger connector, but it is what it is. Perhaps they'll change that with a later model. The tube or the hose, that is pre-attached, but you pull that out and it automatically turns on the unit. When you put it back, it will switch it off. Fortunately, you can unscrew this, and that means that if there's a problem with that, it's one of the parts which is likely to break, possibly long-term. You can hopefully get a replacement for it. You can see there, there's the brass thread on the inside, and there's washers all around to help seal it. Length on that is around about 17 centimeters, roughly. Give you a close-up on the controls. I've put that on screen for you. It's very simple. You've just got the four-way controller and the central button, which is your start and stop. You have quite a large range on the pressure. It goes from 3 to 150 PSI or 0.2 to 10.3 bar. So you can push and hold to go through quickly. And if you just do slowly, then you can actually just adjust it individually. They did include four presets, which could be quite useful. And I've put the power ratings for those on the screen. You can change the rating on that, but again, you can't actually save it. It just gives you a sort of ballpark figure to start off with and they're generally fairly close although the bicycle one many of those tires tend to be higher pressure another feature that you can do is switch between the psi and the bar so just push and hold the right hand button and it will cycle between those two ratings you do get a bit of vibration off of this although it's not particularly bad compared to some of the air compressors that i've used three stage battery level indicator Perhaps would be nice if they had given a power indicator on the main display because it is quite a clear and large display. Do some charging tests now. You'll notice when you're charging it, it does give a slow sort of flashing. Then when it's static, that means it's finished. And the charging time was just under three hours and the capacity just over 2000 milliamp hour. There's a quick sound test on screen for you and I've done some inflating tests now. Started off with a basketball. All the information I've put for each of these is on screen just to give you an idea of the rough amount of time that it might take. Obviously tires do vary in terms of their capacity. It's reasonably quick for the smaller devices but then when you get up to the car tires from flat it's going to take you a while to do that. Remember, this is from fully deflated, so if you're just topping up the tyres, it's not going to take anywhere near as long. And real-world usage, I was finding I was getting around about 24-25 minutes runtime on a full charge. LED torch on this is quite spread out and floody. You can probably see around about 15-20 foot fairly easily. If you were in pitch black, you wouldn't have any problems walking along a road and seeing where you're going. It does work fairly well up close because it spreads out quite evenly, so it's fine for looking under the bonnet in the engine bay or in the boot, or if you are going to use it when you are inflating a tyre, it's definitely got enough illumination to do that so that you can see what you're doing. 
The Xiaomi is quite good. Just remember though, this is a small unit. So if you've got something like a truck or a 4x4 with much bigger tires, you're going to need something with more power. Would have liked to have seen that Type-C connector. That would have been an improvement. Hopefully that video gave you some idea of what to expect with this. Thanks for watching. It is appreciated. And I'll see you soon.